Okay, we have here another integral. We've got the integral of one over x to the 12th plus x to the 23rd dx. Okay, I did one really similar to this not too long ago. I thought it was an interesting scenario where we need to, where what I want to do is I want to factor, I either want to factor out x to the 12th or x to the 23rd. And what I'm going to choose to do is let's factor out the x to the 23rd. And when I do that, you'll notice that the first term is going to become x to the minus 11 and the second term is just going to be plus one. And the reason I do it that way is if we put this back as a fraction, we take the x to the 23rd, we bring it into the numerator, this becomes x to the minus 23rd, and then we have this over x to the minus 11th plus one. And I think the reason why this works better than factoring out the x to the 12th is now we have negative exponents here in the numerator and denominator. So let's go ahead and rewrite it this way. So we'll have x to the minus 23 over x to the minus 11 over x to the minus 11 plus one dx. And then now what I'll do is go ahead with the u substitution. I'm gonna make my u just for the x to the minus 11. So I'll say u equals x to the minus 11. I'll take a derivative. du is gonna be minus 11x minus 12 dx. But then what I can do is kind of create this x to the minus 12 by splitting up x to the minus 23. I can write this as, I can split it like x to the minus 11 times x to the minus 12. So we get that term. But when I split this, I also want to get this minus 11 in here. So I'm going to write it as x to the minus 11 times minus 11 x to the minus 12. I don't want to change it, so let's multiply by minus 1 over 11 in front. And then we'll bring down all this here. And then having it like this, we've set up our u substitution because now this piece is just our u. And we have u here and we have our du right here. So we'll go ahead with this. What we're going to have is we'll still have this minus 1 over 11 in front. Then this again is going to be u du over u plus one. Well then this isn't too bad. I can actually just create, if I add a plus one, if I kind of force a plus one in there, now this is just, now we're just integrating one, but I don't want to change it, so we'll subtract one. So then coming back over here, we'll split this into two integrals. This first one's just going to become one du. The first one, when I distribute the minus to the minus, we're going to write this as plus one over 11 du over u plus one. Then we'll go ahead and integrate. We're going to have minus one over 11 Integrating one is just going to be u, so we'll have u here, plus 1 over 11. This is going to become natural log u plus 1. But now we just need to back substitute here and here. So this is going to become, I'll write this one as minus 1 over 11, but I'll bring this into the denominator. I'll write this as x to the 11th here, plus 1 over 11, natural log, again, x minus 11. What I can do for the 1 actually is write it as x to the 11 over x to the 11. And then we'll try to simplify it here. I can write this as one over x to the 11. But then we already have a common denominator here. So we kind of put this together all under one common denominator. But then by log properties, we can split this up. And we have one over 11, natural log one plus x to the 11th. Then splitting this up here in the denominator, this is gonna be a minus sign. This will become minus one over 11, natural log x to the 11. But then by exponent properties, I can bring this out here. 11 is gonna just cancel with 11. And so for the final solution to this, we're gonna have minus one over 11, x to the 11, plus one over 11, natural log one plus x to the 11. And this here is just ln x, so we're gonna have minus ln x plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Thought it was a pretty good problem. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.